Hello, and welcome to this special bonus episode of Share, Strategize, and Shine. I am Caroline, your go-to podcast strategist, and today we're diving into something huge that is probably on your mind, and that is how to leverage your podcast for Black Friday or really any sales promotion. If you've ever wondered how to turn your loyal listeners into enthusiastic buyers during big sales events, this episode is for you. Plus, stick around because I'll also be sharing details about my Black Friday podcasting toolkit. It's packed with swipe files, templates, and strategies to make your next promotion an absolute breeze. So let's get started. So first things first, your podcast is more than a platform for storytelling or education. It is a critical part of your sales funnel. We want to think about it as the bridge between awareness and action. And your podcast builds that trust and authority and really helps guide your audience to take the next step, which is purchasing your offer. So it makes sense to be using it for Black Friday, right? And to be using it for promotions and sales. The goal really is to spotlight an entry-level product, something accessible, actionable, and irresistible. You want your audience to think, yes, that is exactly what I need right now. Your podcast is going to help plant that seed. So you probably already have an idea of what you're going to sell for Black Friday, but in case you're sitting around going, I'm quite sure what I'm going to promote, let's just talk about it for a hot minute. So we want to create an irresistible deal, right? But that doesn't mean that you need to discount your high ticket offers. Instead, I want you to focus on something that's going to give your audience a taste of your value. So maybe you have a mini course that solves a specific problem. Maybe you have a toolkit, some templates, checklist. Uh, Maybe you have an upcoming workshop that you can discount. Or, you know, you can even create a bundle, uh, kind of like this this Black Friday toolkit that I'm going to be talking about. The key is you want the decision to be easy and you don't want to overcomplicate it, right? Like this is not the time for overcomplication. We want to keep it simple, valuable, and affordable. So once you have your offer, that's when we start thinking about, okay, what is my content strategy leading up to Black Friday? And your episodes should be guiding your listeners towards your offer. So for example, if your Black Friday deal is a content calendar toolkit, you want to create episodes around the struggles of staying consistent with content. So we want to think about episodes like why content burnout happens, how to avoid it, or the secret to planning a month of content in just one hour. You, you can see how these types of episodes are going to lead you right into that offer that you're making. And that's the thing. At the end of each episode, you want to seamlessly introduce your offer and say something like, if you've been nodding along, my content calendar toolkit is exactly what you need. And I'm going to be running a Black Friday special on it. So be sure to join my email list here, right? The other thing that is really important with Black Friday and promotions and sales. And this is something that I've really dug deep into integrating with myself and my clients is running ad spots in your own episodes. So a lot of times when we think about podcast ads, we think about sponsors, but you are the sponsor of your own podcast, right? So you can create simple 15 to 30 second promos where you remind listeners about the deal. Uh, And I have a couple ways of doing this. One is repetition is key. So we want to mention it multiple times. You can either create one ad and just run it through the whole promotion period. But sometimes I like to record a couple variations and have them go up at different times just so it keeps it fresh in people's ears. You want to mention that offer, like I said, multiple times, but we always want it to feel natural and feel valuable. Like you're doing this for them, right? You're creating this for them. So finally, let's talk about mapping the journey from podcast to purchase because it can feel a little cumbersome when you're listening to an episode and you hear somebody mention something, a promo, anything, and you're like, how do I find it? Where is it? And you start scrolling and you can't find it. You go to their website and you can't find it. So there's a couple things I want you to do. The first one is your offer should have a dedicated landing page. And we want this link to be really easy to remember, and we want to make sure that it's featured prominently in your show notes. Something like, you know, your website.com slash toolkit. It's really easy. That's going to work perfectly. It's going to be something that they can remember and easily go type in if they don't click the link right there. 
Once listeners hit that page, we want to make sure that the checkout is really smooth. And here's the thing, like post-purchase, that's not the end of it. The end of the relationship does not stop when they click the buy button. We want to make sure that we have some automated emails in the background that can nurture your buyers further and introduce them to your other offers down the line. Uh, And one thing I want to mention too that I didn't mention is another really great idea for any time you're offering a promotion or a sale is to do a bonus episode on your podcast. Bring attention to it. Have something come up in the feed that really drives attention to it like I'm doing with this episode with you right now. So definitely keep these things in mind as you're planning your promotions, your sales, and especially for Black Friday, like it's not too late. You could literally release an episode next week that could start leading into your offer. So definitely make sure you think about that. And if you're ready to make the most of your Black Friday promotion, I have a Black Friday podcasting toolkit. So it literally has everything you need, episode swipe ideas, ad scripts, and email templates. You can find it linked in the show notes or head to wildhomepodcasting.com slash toolkit. I really want you to make this season your most successful ever. And one of the ways to do that is by incorporating your podcast and not forgetting that it is such a valuable piece of your funnel. And that toolkit is going to be 50% off uh, through this weekend if you're listening in real time. The, this, this episode is coming out November 7th, and it'll be available for 50% off through Monday. So definitely be sure and go grab that. Thank you so much for tuning in to this special episode of Share, Strategize, and Shine. I hope that this has inspired you to really fully leverage your podcast for Black Friday. And if you implement any of these tips, I'd love to hear how they worked for you. You can head to my broadcast channel on Instagram and let me know or just send me a message. And until next time, happy podcasting, happy selling, and here's to a successful Black Friday.